Welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new then hello, lovely to meet you. My name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe. If you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure that notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload. Almost ran out of breath then. Welcome to today's video. I'm really sorry this was supposed to go up. I was hoping it would go up on Sunday um, but I, I'm not going to lie hung over so I didn't film on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday wait what day is it today Wednesday. oh it's when uh, why did I think it was Wednesday uh, Thursday Monday and Tuesday I just had like a 24 hour I don't know virusy sort of thing I don't really know I was pretty much in bed for half the day on Monday um, and then yesterday I still weren't feeling a hundred percent today I feel a whole lot better um, but that is why this video hasn't gone up sooner than I wanted it to. But we are finally going to be doing a review on the Revolution and Bratz little palette vault. I say little, but it's not little. It's got like four big palettes in it. I'm basically going to show you what these all look like again. I'm going to swatch them all and then we're going to be doing maybe two looks with this. Maybe one on one eye, one on the other. And I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. So if you want to see that, then please keep watching. So if you want to see the in-depth, you know, unboxing, first impressions on this palette vault and the lip vault, then I'll link that video down below. But if you remember rightly, we have four character palettes in here, and this is part of their, like, new winter collection. And it comes in this really cute vault, and we have four new character palettes. This set is £40, so you get them for about £10 each. However, the time that I'm filming this, there's a whole load of Black Friday sales going on at the moment, so definitely check across all your websites, Revolution is stopped. So let's run through all the palettes and do some swatches. So the first palette we have is the Chloe set, and this is what the packaging looks like. The Chloe one is actually the one I bought the first time around because Chloe was the one that I absolutely loved. I think it's because I mostly look like her, like with the blonde hair, blue eyes. And this is what the Chloe palette looks like this time around. Still have those pops of blue in there. And let's show you the swatches. And this is what the palette swatch is like. So if I'm honest, I think this is actually my least favorite palette. If you just take away the blues, it's not really that exciting. Like you have a few of these nudes down here, but these ones are quite warm and then the rest of it's quite cool tone. So I feel like these last few mattes look a bit odd with this color story. Um, but the foily shimmers in here are absolutely absolutely beautiful i must admit um but yeah i'm just i don't know i'm just not feeling this i think i prefer the first code palette rather than this one i think the most exciting thing about this is actually like the blues in it and then these like pops of foily shimmers this is the yasmin palette absolutely love the packaging for this one and how sexual is this palette it is absolutely beautiful i love that there's a dark matte in here as well and let's move on to the swatches. And these are the swatches. So I definitely prefer this to the Chloe palette. I think it's so much more up my street. It's very warm tone, very beautiful. You have a black in here, you have a pop of purple. The shimmers in here are absolutely stunning. Like the former of these um, shimmers are absolutely amazing. I love them. And I think there's a really nice variety in here and there is definitely some depth as well, which is really nice. Next we have the Jade eyeshadow palette. I love this because it's pink. And then this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. Love Again, love this pan down here because it has a really light icy shade. And now I'll show you the swatches. This is the Jade palette. Absolutely love this one because it is pinky toned. You've got a lot of pinks in here and I think it's very very beautiful I think this and the Yasmin palette would actually work together so so good I love that there's a black in here there's a very light icy shade it is just a very very stunning Alex palette and lastly we have the Sasha palette again love the color of this like the colors of this packaging this time around is absolutely beautiful and the Sasha palette looks like this this one's a little bit more cool tone i'd say it has a very nice like pop of gold in it and then i'll show you the final swatches for this and we'll move on into the eye look 
and the last palette this is the Sasha swatches I think this palette is beautiful I think this one's actually gonna work really well with the Chloe palette so I think I might pair these two and then the middle two characters because they're both very like neutrally warm palettes but this has certainly your pops of teal and green lovely warm tones you have a light shimmer here and it is very beautiful. The mattes don't swatch the best, so I'm not going to lie. Well, some of them do, some of them don't. So there's a bit of a mixture, um, but the shimmers, I think, are what make these palettes, like, really, really good. So finally, let's get into the eye looks. Okay, so I've just primed with the Beauty Bay Eye Base today. And I'm using Revolution by four. I'd mix it up a little bit. I think I'm going to pair the Chloe and Sasha palette together because they've got blues and greens in them so I thought that'd be a really cute combination and then we'll do Jade and Yasmin on the other eye. I'm going to start off with the Sasha palette and I'm going to take Bandana which is this khaki green shade here and I'm going to pop that in my crease. I'm going to see if this works, I'm not sure if it will, but I'm going to take Treasures, which is the matte blue in the Chloe palette. kind of wish this had more blues in it because I feel like for a winter collection, more blues, like matte blues would have been perfect. And I'm going to blend this kind of just above. Then I'm going to take a combination of that treasure shade and also head in the clouds because it should power up the blue and then I can blend out the outer edge. Then back in with bandana just to make sure it's all blended in very nicely. The both of them together has actually made this really teal-like and I absolutely love it. Okay, then I'm going to take Keep It Real from the Sasha palette and I'm going to pop this in my inner and outer corners and it should should tie in actually with the, um, the teal at the top. Next, I'm going to take Dreamy from the Chloe palette and I'm going to pop that in the middle of the lid. And then for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to take like a warm toned brown. So I'm going to take Jammin, which is this one here. And then for my uh, inner corner and brow bone, I'm going to take Flared Jeans, which is this one here. Okay, so this is my look using both the Chloe and Sasha palettes. How beautiful is this? Obsessed. Now we're going to move on to the other eye and do a more neutral look with the Jade and Yasmin palettes. So let's get into it. Firstly, I'm going to take the shade Style It from the Yasmin palette. Then I'm going into the Jade palette and taking this stunning mustardy shade here, which is called Sizzlin, and I'm going to pop that directly on top. Then I'm going to take Tree Pose, which is this shade here from the Yasmin palette, and I'm going to use that to start buffing out the top edge. I'm going to take a little bit of fashion show as well from the Jade palette. I love this one so much because it's like quite a pinky toned palette. And I'm going to take it on that big fluffy brush that I was just using. I'm just going to swish this around in here. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Take a Chance from the Yasmin palette. Then I'm going to take the shade Chunky Boots from the Jade palette and I'm going to do what I did on this side. I'm going to add that to my inner and outer corner. Just going back in with my original brush just to kind of like blend all this together. I definitely said like warm and neutral, right? Because this is just taking a whole different level. Then from the Yasmin palette, I'm going to take this beautiful shimmer here, which is called Stars Align, and I'm going to pop that in the middle of my lid. It's very, like, 
chunky foil out -y, but I reckon, yeah, literally like liquid metal. And then for my lower lash line, I'm going to take the Yasmin palette again and I'm going to take the purple, which is called Tube Top. And then for my inner corners and brow bone, I'm going to take the Jade palette and I'm going to take the shade Makeover. And this is my look with the Sasha and Jade eyeshadow palettes. So these are both my eyes done. Let me know, do you prefer this side? Focus please. Or do you prefer this side? I'm gonna hop off camera, I'm just gonna pop some mascara and some lipstick on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. For my mascara, I used my Maybelline Sky High one. Still absolutely loving that mascara. And then my lips, I decided to put on one of the Relove uh, Super Matte Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Salty. This is what the shade looks like. If it wants to focus, no it doesn't. There you go. So this is what my face is looking like. Again, do you prefer this side or do you prefer this side? I think I prefer this side just because I love the colour. You know, this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed. And with this side, I think I went a bit ham on the like ready pinky shade. If I'd have kept it more neutral, I probably would have loved it a little bit more. So yeah, this is the finished look. Definitely let me know down below what you think of the looks and also what you think of the eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so let's sit down and talk about this Bratz and Revolution eyeshadow palette vault. So firstly, the price, £40. For four like, eyeshadow palettes that are worth £15 each, I actually don't think that's a bad price at all anyway. If you can get it any cheaper on a Black Friday sale or anything, then it's obviously definitely more worth the money because you're paying less than what it retails for. The Vault, I do like the idea of the Vault because it looks really cute. Oh my God. And all the palettes are together. However, I do wish they did offer the palette separately just for, say, someone who can't afford to pay £40 for the whole thing they can afford to pay you know the 15 pounds for one of them the palettes themselves are so beautiful i absolutely love them i definitely prefer this set the winter collection to the first round of palettes they released um the chloe one's actually my least favorite didn't see that one come in but i don't know i just weren't feeling it um, the Sasha one is definitely up there with my favorites and i think the jade one's also my favorite my order probably goes Jade, Sasha, Yasmin, Chloe, if that is helpful for anyone. Um, and yeah, of course, obviously I use two palettes on one eye, two palettes on the other. You don't have to do that. I just wanted to use as many shades as possible to get a bit of a feel for the formula and the pigmentation. And basically, these are really good palettes. Uh, the mattes were really pigmented. Even with the white and blue at the top, it worked perfectly. And then this one, that one shade I used at the end, like swished the color all the way across. I was really impressed with the mattes. The shimmers, there are definitely a couple of, or I'd say maybe even a few formulas in there. The foily goodness liquid metal shades that I've used on my lid are absolutely incredible. I absolutely love them. How many times do you want to say absolutely? And the other shimmers are not too bad. Like they're still really good shimmers. I think I use more normal ones for my inner corner and brow bone and they're still definitely really good. You know me, I just prefer the foily goodness. So if you're a collector like me, or if you're a massive Bratz fan, I would 100% recommend this. Or if you know someone that's a huge Bratz fan, get them this for Christmas. That would be an amazing present for them. I should have really used one of the lip products for my lips, I just realised, but anyways. I really like the eyeshadow palette vault. I also really like the lip vault. So for me, the new winter collection with the Bratz and Revolution is very, very good and I would highly recommend it. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button. Let me know down below what you think of the eyeshadow palette vault and of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.